Hello everyone, and welcome back to Oddly Useless, where we uncover the stories you might not have known you needed. Today, we're journeying back in time to one of the most significant natural disasters in American history, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Forget what you think you know, because the real story is far more dramatic. Picture this. It's just before dawn, 5.12 a.m., on April 18, 1906. The city of San Francisco is asleep. Suddenly, the ground begins to violently shake. This wasn't just a minor tremor. It was the San Andreas Fault, rupturing along a massive 296-mile stretch. In some places, the ground literally shifted by over 20 feet. Imagine the sheer power needed to move the Earth that much. Initially, the magnitude was thought to be as high as 8.3, but modern seismologists have revised it to a still staggering 7.9. To put that in perspective, that's hundreds of times more powerful than many of the earthquakes we hear about today. The shaking lasted for what must have felt like an eternity. Between 45 and 60 seconds, toppling buildings and turning streets into rubble. But here's the most devastating twist. The earthquake itself wasn't the biggest killer. The shaking was just the opening act. As buildings crumbled, gas mains across the city ruptured, leaking flammable gas into the air. At the same time, the water mains that fed the fire hydrants were also destroyed. So, when fires inevitably broke out, firefighters were left with a horrifying problem. They had no water to fight the flames. A few small fires quickly merged into a monstrous firestorm that swept through the wooden-built city. For three days, the inferno raged, consuming everything in its path. It was this fire, not the quake, that caused over 80% of the total destruction. The city was almost completely wiped off the map. The human cost was catastrophic. Out of a population of about 400,000, more than half over 250,000 people were left homeless. Early reports tried to downplay the death toll, but modern estimates place the number of fatalities at 3,000 or more. Thousands of people were suddenly without a home, a job, or any sense of security. Was forced to live in makeshift tent cities and parks like Golden Gate Park, it was a humanitarian crisis on an unprecedented scale. People lost everything in the blink of an eye. If you found this slice of history fascinating, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next dive into more oddly useless facts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.